Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. I think this was another absolutely epic uh, opportunity uh, this week. Um, again, as, as announced end of last week, it was also one that I highlighted in the opportunities video that I publish for channel members on a weekly basis. Um, this entry point, yeah, for a turnaround. And, you know, it's sometimes really magical with these Elliott waves. I mean, um, you would think this is just, you know, a price somewhere, you know, where this turned around. But it turned around really in the middle of our support area that was defined purely by drawing <laughs> mathematical lines into the air, yeah, all based on Fibonacci. And you can see magical, you know. Uh, it's so good to see when, when these charts again and again, not always, of course, but again and again and again, very frequently adhere to Fibonacci support areas, resistance areas, and just work out. Yeah, of course, there are never guarantees. And of course, it doesn't always work out. But honestly, most of the time, and especially this week, great hit rate. And also on this entire way up here, this was, uh, I think, the first entry point i think we might have given one earlier i'm not entirely sure um but this was one we have one here now again for a scale in uh trade a long trade and when it works out it it is so good because eventually you know i do this i do this also for the benefit of the community of course you know you can you see this um you hopefully don't just blindly trade based on these but come to your own conclusions but most importantly always try to give some education in these videos as well that you learn this because everybody should be open at least, even if you don't want to use it. <clears throat> but everybody, in my opinion, should be open for the perspective of understanding markets as repeating patterns as per the Elliott Wave method, because it just gives you a different perspective. Nothing wrong with having a different perspective. Yeah. Uh, especially useful, absolutely useful. So we've seen a turnaround, in my opinion, still at the moment, good chance that this is only a B wave. Bear in mind, Bitcoin Ethereum could also only be in a B wave at the moment because we only have three waves up. I warned about that today, that this could just be a B wave. You need to know it. Of course, it's not guaranteed. And I primarily expect further upside until this pattern breaks. But we have B waves across the market at the moment. And these are tricky, yeah, these are tricky. But um, this turnaround worked. And again, it depends on your strategy, but whenever you are that much in profit within 24 to 48 hours, and we're talking here about one second, even if you just entered at the top of the box, which is sort of the worst case, you know, you'd be in profit like 10%. It's not too bad, yeah. And someone might say, oh, it's only 10%. I mean, 10% in 48 hours. That's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, uh, I, I sometimes read it on Telegram and Discord when someone says, um, you know, how, how much, you know, did, did you use leverage? And if that person says no, and then it's like, ah, oh, okay, it might just be a few hundred dollars profit or so. But I mean, it depends on, first of all, the position size. And then it depends on, you know, you need to start thinking in percentages, not in terms of, you know, 10x, 20x that every crypto move that you're trading needs to give you a 10x. Um, you wanna make sure that you control your losses, control your risk, take profits gradually. Then you become profitable over time. I'm sometimes, sometimes people say I'm too cautious or I'm very cautious. I know why I am, why I am quite cautious because a lot of people aren't, yeah? A lot of people see the 10x's, the 100x's, the 1000x's. I have learned over the years and that has helped me to survive in the markets, especially in the crypto market, because a lot of people burn their fingers in the crypto markets. Yeah, burn their entire portfolios in the crypto market because they are not they are not cautious. They are thinking about what they could make with every little move. They think about every move will give them a 10x, whereas what you should be looking at as is getting profitable, con you know, on a continuous basis taking profits gradually, control what you lose, and then you will become profitable, you know, just, just by itself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so simple. It's, it's simple, it's not easy. Um, but um, yeah, don't, don't have the FOMO mentality. Be happy with any gain, you know, and then over time, if, it, if most people just need to be able to control their losses, and if they can do that, things will 
come by themselves, right? You know, um, so 10% in 24 hours is decent or even 48 hours. Absolutely good. better than what you get in any bank per year. So um, at least any proper bank. Um, okay, B wave up, what does that mean? It currently looks impulsive, but also similar to Bitcoin, we have a bit of a, yeah, this could be, I mean, again, I'm doing micro counting here, not really um, a fan of that. I can't do that on all coins, but if we want to count it impulsively, because it could be the completion of the wave two. Yeah, I didn't highlight that. It could, of course, be the wave two is in, and then we are rallying in a wave three. That's why everybody needs to decide for themselves, do I take partial profits or do I just let it run with a stop loss moved into profit, right? Because if this is the third wave, it can take us above $10, okay? Um, if it's a B wave, it will soon get rejected somewhere because we only have three waves at the moment. I would count this as a one, two, and we've got another one, two here. And um, yeah, this would be a three, four, five. So we, we haven't even got three waves complete which means in the bearish version, this would just be an A wave, a B wave, and we could be in a C wave, which has done a one, two, one, two setup, would probably still rally a bit more, yeah, but it could just be an A, B, C wave. That problem always exists. That's why I have labeled this as an A, uh, sorry, as a B wave, and yeah, we need to be aware of that. And if it's a B wave, and we came down here in, um, in five waves in an A wave, then it's probably a zigzag pattern that we're looking at here. And if it's a zigzag pattern we're looking at, then you would expect the B wave to reach the area here between the 50% retracement and the 78.6 retracement. It should normally, normally not exceed 685. So this is resistance. I'm going to highlight this here. I'm not telling you it will definitely get rejected here because if it's a wave three, it should break through. Um, here the, um, the the main wave three, you know, this one. But if it's a B wave, it should get rejected there. And a break above 685 would indicate we're actually in something more bullish. But that's my update about Polkadot. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.